What is up, you guys? I know I look so crazy, but this is real. I'm currently having pains. I don't know if they're contractions or not. But I've never felt something like this before. <clears throat> Everyone keeps telling me Braxton Hicks don't hurt. And it's just a tiny feeling. And these feel like period cramps. I keep trying to time them. But, um, like, it just doesn't stop. Like, everyone's like, oh, they'll be like a minute apart. But mine just doesn't stop. Like, it just, it's just like an ongoing pain. Like, oh, I don't know how to explain it. I wish I knew how to explain it. It's currently 8.31 and at night. It is Sunday. But if it doesn't stop within an hour, hour and a half, I'm just going to go to the hospital. Because I've been feeling like this since yesterday. And I've really been like saying I don't want to go because I just don't want them to turn me around. Like once I go to the hospital, I want that to be it. Like that one that to be the moment but I just rather get checked out and let them give me something to help with the contractions because this pain is like ugh, it hurts so bad but I'll keep you guys updated okay so October 26, 6 13 in the morning. And my water broke. We are on the way to the hospital. Um, we were sleeping, obviously. And I woke up because I felt like I was sweating. And then, like, obviously, I touched myself. And I'm like, what the fuck? And so I got up. I wasn't going to get up, and then someone was like, just get up, and then I turned my flashlight on my phone, and I seen that the whole bed was wet, and at first I was like, damn, did I piss on myself, and I, but I like smelt it, and then when I stood up, it just kept dripping, so I was like, oh my god, this is definitely my water, and I freaking tell Mikey my water breaks, and he just looks at me. He just looks at me and I'm like, hello, did you hear what I just said? My water broke. Like, what the hell? And then he realized what I said and then hopped up and was like, let's go. I was trying to take a shower, freaking fix my hair. And he was like, no, let's go. So, it is what it is. Um, I'm starting to have contractions, but they're pretty bearable right now, so... I don't know, I'm scared, like, I don't want to get to the hospital and they're like, you're way too far dilated, we can't give you the epidural, because then I'll be like, well, I'm not having this baby. Yeah. Just give me a C-section. Oh, because I don't, I can't, I don't, I, I just, I can't do natural. consistent contraction so they put me on Pitocin she 
put me on the lowest dosage just so I can start my contractions so I can dilate more. So, yeah. But yeah, you guys, so basically we're just needing me to start having consistent contractions so I can start to dilate and keep the show on the road. Ready? Mm -hmm. I'm eating some ice because my mouth is so freaking dry. And I'm hungry. Okay, you guys, I'm gonna give y'all an update. So, like I said, they did put me on Pitocin to make my contractions come. But I wasn't feeling it. Like, I was sitting on the ball and... She was saying I was having contractions, but I literally didn't feel it at all. And then I was like, oh, okay, I'm just going to lay down, try to take a little nap. Mikey went to sleep, and I was on the phone with my mom. And, you know, we're just talking, laughing, or whatever. She's trying to make me feel comfortable. And I felt like something had popped. And when I tell you, I felt the contractions so bad. Like, the pain was horrible. It was like, the pain was so bad, it made me freaking throw up and the IV had me so cold I was shaking like really bad so I just went and decided to get the um, epidural and then um, while I was waiting for them to bring the epidural I was like oh I'm gonna sit back on the ball and um, hoping that like it would stop and then the nurse all comes back and she's like oh okay are you ready for the epidural he's about to come right now or if you want to wait, he has a C-section to do at 10.30, so it'll be like another 30 to an hour. And at first I was like, okay, y'all, just wait. And then the freaking contraction hit me, and I was like, just kidding, tell him to come. And I was so scared, like, about to get to get the epidural, because, like, if you move wrong or something goes bad, freaking, you know, you could be paralyzed. But Mikey calmed me down and I did it. Right, babe? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And he said I was a good epidural person. <laughs> <laughs> so that made me feel good because <laughs> I was freaking so scared. But it's starting to work. My legs are getting really tingly. So I'm going to try to rest. Probably do my makeup so I could look like something. <coughs> And yeah. Oh, and I'm three centimeters dilated, right? Yeah, I'm three centimeters dilated, so. Okay, so. Um. Damn, what did I say last? Oh, yeah. So I got checked again. And I'm four centimeters now, so that will pretty fast so and she put me a peanut bowl and I'm sorry if it's so shaky I'm just I got the shakes I really want to freaking do my makeup but mm, I'm gonna wait a little longer it's going by pretty fast huh babe hmm? yeah. I said it's going by pretty fast mm -hmm. We got here at 6.30. Now what time is it right now? 11.30. It's, like, uh, it's 11.30 right now, so I've been in labor for almost six hours, huh? Mm -hmm. Which is not too bad. Hopefully, we'll have a baby by... I want to say... Oh my god, I'm so shaky. Mm, what, what do you think? How long do you think it's going to take me to get to 10? Another six hours? No way. <laughs> I think I'm going to have the baby probably three o'clock, four o'clock. And I'm having heartburn. Uh, I know. All right. Talk to you when I get another update. Oh, 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 oh. oh.